أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم سليم كثيرا وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته a reminder especially to our beloved donors the donors of the Islamic Relief that really are making a big difference in the life of the people I want to take this opportunity to talk to you about this special guest coming in a few days Ramadan one of the Dua that the Muslims early used to say six months before Ramadan, Allahumma balighna Ramadan, wa Allah extend our life till we are alive during Ramadan. Why? Because the end of Ramadan is the season. Ramadan is the opportunity that Allah gave as blessing from Him to the believers that they can compensate for themselves, that they can do better, that they can come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Ramadan, the Prophet sallallahu said that the gates of hellfire are closed, the gates of paradise are open, the devils are chained. In Ramadan, the Prophet sallallahu said, whosoever fast, uh, Ramadan, seeking the pleasure of Allah with sincerity, Allah will forgive his past sin. And whosoever stand in Ramadan, seeking the pleasure of Allah, stand in prayer, seeking the pleasure of Allah, and doing it with sincerity, Allah will forgive their past sins. If you are doing a fard in Ramadan, Allah will reward you with 70 fard. If you are doing extra in Ramadan, Allah will reward you with the reward of a fard. But Ramadan is an opportunity. Don't miss it. You don't know if you're gonna stay till next Ramadan or not. But my advice, please, Ramadan has three pillars. I wanna remind myself and you. The number one pillar is fasting. And all of us who are doing it, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give the health and the ability to do the whole month. And number two pillar is the prayer. Ramadan is the month of the prayer. That's why we do taraweeh. That's why we do extra. But also there is a third pillar. I don't want you to forget about it. And many Muslims, you just concentrate on the first two, which is giving. Giving to those who are less fortunate. Allah has blessed us with a lot. Allah has given us a lot. But there are people worldwide, millions, that they are waiting for Ramadan because this is their opportunity. They are looking at the generous people like you, that you have mercy in your heart toward them. They don't have nobody except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than you. Please help them. Please donate. And in reality, we are doing it for ourselves. We should thank these poor people and meal because they are taking our zakat and sadaqat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The volunteers, you are doing a great job. I know sometimes you don't have nothing to give, but you are giving the best that a human being can ever have is the time. You are giving your heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and reward you. And what you are doing is great. Only Allah will reward you. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it a blessed month for all of us, accept from us and give us the health and the ability to do the best Ramadan. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us the best Ramadan, better than all the Ramadan that we did before. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to make it our last Ramadan. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa